presentation, they may trigger some event which case are a certain burst of, of user come, coming <coughs> into our company. Mm. Why, why, it quick, why it makes a quick trouble to our company? Because if the, if the, if the burst of end user is feeling comfortable, we can just open the machine in our eyes. But the burst is unpredictable. At least we cannot always open a lot of the machine, or otherwise the server cost will make the boss kill us. And this auto scaling is not fast enough. Um, you may wonder that I can open I, I can open a lot of Amazon EC2 machine within a second, but database the, the scaling in database is very hard. You can open a lot of machine, but you have to fill in the database with data. It means, especially with MongoDB. Especially, our, our MongoDB is supported by some third party. It's quite hard to change the, the support contract. And this, our only solution, if there is certain burst of incoming user, and is is much beyond the server capacity. We can only send sorry to pass to, to, to some of users to protect our system instead of total outage. You may ask mm, if there is a lot of user using engine X using engine X for weight limiting in is enough. Why you have to make so a lot of work? I can only tell you that our company, although its major business is a streaming platform, but there is a lot of mini game, mini game in our apps. User, user can play a mini game for thirty for thirty minutes. You can imagine that if you, you if you start a game, at certain you are you you cannot connect to our server because of. You will you will be very very angry because your you you can complete your game, especially such game as stock. And this during weight limiting, instead of perform when when random perform blocking to random user, we allow we allow existing user to continue their, their gap while blocking, blocking the new, new user. Translate to technical requirement. When we, we, use, we use the access token to distinguish the user, when, the, when we found that the total number of active using access token is more than X, the server will enter system filtering mode. In system in system filtering mode, we will perform a checking for all for all requests. If a, if that access token has appeared has <coughs> used it in the in the previous thirty minutes, we, we we consider this access token is used used by existing user and we, we allow it. With the access token is not used in previously 30 minutes. We simply block it and return for two nine two many requests. Here is our three visual approach. It's definitely fair, but I want to I want to show you an ex, as an example how to use branches incorrectly. First, to, to, under, to, to know if an access token is used in previously 30 minutes, a, a very, very simple solution is we use, we, we use that access token as a key and, and, and store it in branches and set the TTL to, 30 minutes. If the if the 
if the system enter system control mode, we, we just check if that access token has corresponding key and exists in, in red desk and we sort the token. But this approach has a quick problem is we are unable to tell what what is the num what is the number of active access token in our server. And this another 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 problem is the key value in Red Desk has much higher memory footprint than hash, hash set. And this we use hash set instead of key value to store such such key access token in, our, in Red Desk. You can I use this example, you can see that. In every 15 minutes, we create a we create a hash set. If there is a if there is a new access token come into our system, come into our system, we put the access token in into the in into the hash set we are currently using. For example, there is a hash set. The access token D, his last update, his last usage time is the is the timestamp. And if the system suddenly jump from normal normal mode to system function mode, we we when we receive a, a access token, we just need to check the current the current hashtag and the previous hashtag and see if this hashtag has usage within the the previous 20 minutes. It's simple, but effective. Why is fail? System fostering is a why we want to perform system fostering. We perform system fostering is to protect our our, in, our internal server components against the first of project. But in the VCU in the VCU approach, every every request during system fostering, he need to ask for the red desk if such if such access token has has appeared has used in PPC thirty minutes. The the I repeat I repeat the. Is why we want to perform system fostering because because <coughs> because the first is totally unpredictable. If we allow all the traffic go into our our back end or our back end request and result in outage, and this we need some mechanism to protect our internal internal back end component. For example, web desk, Elasticsearch, Mongo database, MySQL against such traffic and this why we zero is a failed up is, is a failed design because it needs to access the redness for every request during the system problem mode and it will result the crash in the redness and other which problem is <coughs> because, because the because the hash the, the in the in rest in, in, in the redness cluster environment. Although you can have a lot of load in the redness cluster, but but one one has one that is only stored in one redness node. It means that during the during the system fostering, all of such traffic will jump into one redness cluster node, and it will result in hotspot. Such, such, although in the in the redness cluster, others will, will be not normal. But in that redness in in the affected in the in the in the look that saw the headset, it will be overwhelmed with a with a lot of traffic and case and case outage. And this and this is the V one approach that. 
that we are we are having to use it. Mm. First, I repeat our our goal. First, where that is is our one of the our key component in in the back end. It must be protect against such spread of traffic. It means that no matter no matter no matter the the PPS our 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 weather. Our awareness must be protected from such spread of traffic, and this, and this, we need to we need a mechanism to understand if our if our access to our hand has have been used that with within previous thirty million without without the without access of weather, and this we need to use the, we need to use local memory local memory to to store such access to our but everyone knows in application server the local memory is is not is is not unlimited and this we need we need some constant local memory use mechanism same mission impossible my boss always want my boss always want cheap server server fee but but <coughs> how, how it seems impossible, but but it's possible with phone filter with phone filter data structure. I want to introduce what is phone filter data structure. It first, it has constant memory usage. If if the you you create the phone filter data structure with your predefined with your predefined memory usage, and this, and this, with this, 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 this data structure, you can perform, you can add, you can add a string into that data structure, and then you can test if that string as exists in that data structure. However, you know there is constant memory usage. It means that there must be a trade-off. Constant memory usage means that there is a there is a chance with positive false positive. <coughs> I will discuss more about it later. And one one of the key important key important features is the boom filter support approximate time. Although it's not it's not an exact algorithm, but it can tell you the approximate number of items within that data structure and finally it support merging the merging of two boom filter data structure is is very very fast why boom filter is so helpful first the the false positive if if it's controlled in in a low weight is is not important because if for example if if your server capacity can can support ten million users sorry ten thousand users supporting supporting ten thousand and extra one hundred is not better to our server and one key point is the server capacity is a predefined is the p p divide number and and in boom filter the the false positive number is helped is helped by our our the 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 memory footprint we stuck in the beginning it means that we we can give large in we can give large in large memory calculated by our server side capacity and this we can always keep the false positive within a within a suitable not number in our our system. <coughs> and and uh, 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 here is the we want simplified architecture. You can see that there is a lot of application server. Previously, I have mentioned 
the boom field that is, is stored in, 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 in local memory of FP application server. And this data is a problem. If you said if you said A go into that server, go into the server one, we need a mechanism to synchronize that access token to all of the application server. Otherwise, if if he just go into the server one and next in in next ten, ten minutes he go into the server X, he he will be bottled because he is not he is not synchronized. And this and this what what is the role of Redis here? Redis is a is a is a place of is a place of sync centralized store store edge and and in every second in every second in every second uh, the application server will try to perform a sync operation which in the sync operation it just get the get the master copy in the red desk and try to merge and try to merge the master copy with the local copy and then after after merge after merging it will it will it will put back the merged copy back into back into the red desk and this and this if our access token and is added in one machine after two seconds it will be pop it will be populated to all of the all of our application servers. You, you can ask why we use Red Desk instead of other instead of other components. One key point is almost almost every back end they use Red Desk as cache. It means that if we use Red Desk as a centralized storage, we have no extra back end component. No back end component means that no special approval from from our boss and 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 one more important is no extra approval from our SLE team. Uh, I should not disclose our too much. <coughs> one important point is previously, previously I previously I do not tell you what is exactly stored in the boom in the red in the red desk. But you can see that in every, in every second, every every application server will try to synchronize its local copy with with the Red Desk master. If then there is a race condition. In order to our in order to avoid the race condition, automatic lock is used to protect against such race condition. This instead of just using a key value to store the to to store the boom filter com content, we use we use a hash we use a hash set instead. The the in the in the hash set the value is the content of the boom filter and the time the TS timestamp field is used for automatic is used for automatic locking. It means that every Every application server, it will, it will try to grab the master copy to merge with the local copy and back sync to the master and back sync to the red desk. If the timestamp is failed, then it's conflict. It will, it will grab the it will grab the master copy again to retry the operation. Because we need to use the automatic locking. Automatic locking. One of the key points is check, check, check and set. So we need to use Lua script to, to write such operation, but it's very simple Lua script. In our application, more about our application server. To post, to post. In our application server, there is there is thousands of incoming request in every every second every second you try you try to read and write to the phone filter local 
local in the local local memory local, local memory, memory local memory this this we need to use to use with the read write log for for the con for the current current concurrency control in the application server the read write log allow us to perform multi fragment test because test is a read operation and single fragment and operation to further speed up to per the performance, <coughs> the, the, the update of a full filter is deferred. Why? Because in every request, we, the request do not need to wait, do not need to wait for the full filter to be completed before it returns back, back to the client. And this, we we, our application our server application is writing in, writing Go, language. in Go, language. Go language. In Go language, there is a there is a data structure data called structure Butterfly the channel. channel. For every for every for every, for every, all every, new, new SS token, SS token, the request will the just put will just put the SS token, token into token into that channel, 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 and then there is a background back to slowly get. To slowly work from the channel and add back to and add back to the boom builder data structure. I can see that some 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 of you is currently performing Wikipedia on the data on 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 the boom builder data structure, and you may wonder that. There is there is add operation in the boom filter, but there is no expire operation and no delete operation in boom filter. And this and this how how can we resolve it? Instead 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 of instead of recreating another boom filter and publish it as paper, we do not have enough time and this we perform a still but but working solution. I think everyone here yeah, you have used the Linux, Linux, right? Right. No one used no one Mac window as window your, your server. 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 Okay. I think everyone I knows think what everyone is knows log, rota log rotation. Log rotation, log rotation, log rotation means rotation that, for example, a a a party will will will, will write a lot of log, and every day, every day, every day, every day, we we. We delete the oldest. We delete the oldest block file and we create and, and create a new one for 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 current day. And it's called the log rotation. The log rotation of course can also apply on the on the boom filter. And this our instead instead in our in our local application server instead of just Look, boom filter object. We create thirty boom filter object, and each and in every in every second, we remove the old boom filter object and we create a new one. And this and this and this if our boom if our access token has not used it in in thirty minutes, it will finally it it will finally be be removed in. In such an array of boom filter, boom filter, boom filter, boom filter, and one more key point is the access token is added to the latest boom filter, and this not all the boom filter needs to be synchronized. Need to be synchronized with Redis. Only the currently using one needs to be synchronized with the Redis. Here is our here is our V1 architecture in detail. You can see that in Red Dust there is a not there is a not of boom filter and only the only the last one, the currently using one, is synchronized with multiple 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 application server. The women are post some food on the paper and, and, and it fell during our peak hours. hours. Why? 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 Our application server has relax, will scale up and scale down 
according to our our number of requests, and this during the peak hour, our our we open a lot of doc. We lower we open a lot of doctor content now for application server, and this the application server. But with all of the applications, but we'll try to synchronize with Redis. And one key point of about the automation log, the if if the synchronized contract increase or exponentially with the application num with the application server number, and this once the application server number increase, and finally and finally a lot a lot. Of sync will fail because because it grab from the it grab from the web desk and update and and the web desk master copy is updated by other application server and result in fail and this it need to grab again and and finally because of such such conflict every Application server will retry, retry, and retry, and result in abnormal high bandwidth usage. And in V one, in V one point one more moderation. We just we just update slightly on the automatic log algorithm. We we perform a give up because we. We do not. We do not have enough time to rewrite everything. It means that it means that the the application server will still try to grab the master copy from Red Hat and merge with local copy. But but if if found the local if if found top conflict, it means the master copy when it try to upload it back to the server. If it try, if if the master copy is modified by other application server, it will give up and and stop and stop the upload. Is it truly matter? No, because 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 the thing is done in every second. Even one or two iteration will fail, but. But the, the 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 local the local copy will eventually sometime upload upload back in back in into the red red smart master copy. So it does it doesn't really matters. Lesson learned. If you if If your system, your every request need to access the the red desk for waste limiting is a horribly bad idea. Your red desk will will almost die in DDoS. And similarly, similarly, before before the before the age of JWT, the 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 access token is random string. It means that a random string access token. How can how we can prove is a random access token? We will check it with the red with either red desk or or my 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 SQL my SQL to check if that random string is issued by our our server. However, however, it is a weakness to be exploited by by DDoS because. In DDoS, I do not need to. If I do not use the JWT, I use red. I I use ran, random string for access token. The attacker he can generate a lot of a lot a lot of requests and do not need to log in the system. And every request will try to access the red desk to know if is if is a is a. Is, is a As a token generated by our system, it's it's not good. And and one key point is, what does what does customer normally the the performance bound is memory or or network I/O. 
However, be careful of the hotspot. If there is hotspot, your your weather some some of the nodes in your weather cluster will have one hundred CPU usage and cause brick trouble. And one K point is many many many. Many web developers they will they will say that oh we can use some library to write some build some beautiful whole website oh this we do not need to pay attention to university cost and do not need to pay attention to algorithm or data structure I can show you that no absolutely no Fun Fun filter data structure is caused by ten years ago by university professor. If I do not pay attention to that university course, I will unable to to fulfill my boss requirement. More thoughts. In the world of high 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 QPS, consistency is sometimes sacrificed for sacrificed for performance. You can see that in our in our Boom filter solution, there is some false positive. However, it doesn't it doesn't matter. And this and this uh if your system is swapping and evolving, you may need to consider some trade off between consistency and performance. And one key last key point is if this Efficient use of local memory is the key of high performance. I, I cannot disclose our caching algorithm in, in our application. However, I can tell you that a lot of a lot of requests is fulfilled by local local memory in our in our in our application server. Because if because if we do, do not use the local copy, the the hot the hot the data the data used by a lot of users will become a hotspot in red in the rest of the cluster and result in performance degradation or even crash in the rest of the cluster node. There's a lot of time, and this I want to show you some extra. Extra things in in our our company. In our company, our our F learning page use a need use a need board. The need board will the need board will show the users the users the 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 top two thousand user user score and and. The score usually usually there is only the increase. The only decrease is we found some user is cheating. We delete their account, or or we 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 roll back their we roll back their score. However, it's very very abnormal case. We went solution is convenient and will be used by a lot of application developer. The little board, the little board. In Redis, there is a data structure called sort of set. We use the V1 solution. We store, we store, we we use the sort of set and store the user ID as the key and the score as the as as the score in the sort of set. And this to 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 get the top two thousand user. We can have we can perform the get get by range operation in that sort of set. It's very convenient and is our view and our host. And finally, our server go our server go crash again because there is there is hotspot there is hotspot in our in our weather cluster. Why 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 not just because of we operation we operation can. Can be reduced by use of local, local, local memory. But one key point is, after 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 user have finished a game, they need to update update the their 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 new score index 
shorter step. It means it means that shorter step will become will become a single point of all user activities, and it resulted it resulted in serious cost body problems. In V two algorithm, I I tell you that in high performance we we need to sacrifice something. Instead of storing storing all items, all users, we only store the two top two thousand top two thousand items only. Why is important? Because the update or get operation is in is a dot in all operation. Storing next item in the shorter step will will obviously improve the performance. It's there is still possible problem, but because of every update and every week cost less cost less time, the the the, the system performance. Has improved a lot, a lot, a lot. And the job, the job back of V two compared to V one. If we found there is a use, there is a user cheating, and that user is the top top two thousand top two thousand user. The whole web, the whole list need to be rebuilt, need to be rebuilt from our main database. Because if if a there is a if there is a user cheating, there is and and we close their account, there is no longer two thousand record in in that sort of set, and of course we need to fill in the data from our main database, which is very costly, but it will it will happen, and then to 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 truly solve the to truly solve the hotspot problem. We perform shading. Instead of storing the data as a as one one key value component, we store we have we store it into we store the data into eight data shape, and every data shape has has only the top the data shape is shared by user ID. We perform an MD5 hash on the user ID and and then mod by H. We use the remaining remaining number to to determine which shape it should it should be put into. And and each shape on has only the two top top four thousand four thousand user. In every in every request, in 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 the read request, we will simply we will simply get the data from all the HJ and then perform perform sorting in the application server. Although you you can you can think it's a stupid algorithm, but 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 we we migrate the hotspot the single hotspot problem. Into eight smaller hotspot problems, and finally, we I cannot disclose the number, but after we shape it into a big enough number, it will we we solve the we we solve the problem, and instead of using instead of using shorter set shorter set, we use the we use hash set because because update and hash set is big O one. One. The update the with shorter set in spec O log n. If we and this and this, the performance of update in increase massively. And and after 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 we get the result, sorted 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 leaderboard, we will we will put we will put we will put the result. Result in into another another where there's key value for capture. Here's is some home exercise left for you. Of course, everyone here I think you know what is FMQ and WMQ, but but it's 
in some case we do not need we do not need to perform a photoren photoren operation can we use the redness to perform to perform some task Q task Q operation with pi with pi priority with task priority I I repeat so that's said to be avoided in all costs because it involves log log n operation. That's the end of my presentation. I know my English is poor and I'm too nervous. Hopefully you can hopefully I wish you can get something from my presentation. And my I will put the slide in my GitHub in my GitHub account. You can search you you can search Triton hole in in GitHub and if you have any question want to ask me you can search Triton hole in Facebook and my profile is this one this one is not a book it's a pencil that's all that's all thank you